In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the page setup for your Valentine catalog project. Your end project will look something similar to this. First of all, go to File, New, choose Print, Tabloid, title this Valentine catalog with your name. Switch the orientation to horizontal, and I'm going to switch this to inches, and you can see it's 17 inches wide and 11 inches high. Let's add some bleeds. Click down in the bleed area and put 0.125 IN, which is the decimal equivalent of an eighth of an inch. Then click in any of the other boxes, and the value will also be distributed to those boxes. Then click Create. The first thing that we're going to do is put some page margins on our layout. Go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers. We need a quarter of an inch margin on the two sides and the bottom. So I'm going to click directly on the ruler and drag over a line at a quarter of an inch and click and drag a line over here to a quarter of an inch. Click one from the top and drag it down to a quarter of an inch. So no text should go outside of these blue lines. It's okay if photos go outside these blue lines, just not text. At the top, I'm going to put half an inch, just like that. So again, no text above that line. Next, I'm going to put the middle of the page. So I'm going to click on the side ruler and put a line at 8 and drag out another guideline and put it at 9. So this is where the catalog will fold and where it will be stapled or bound together. So nothing important can go inside this box. Images could bleed into here, but you wouldn't want any text to be in this area. Now we're going to put guidelines for where we're going to place our photos. So I'm going to click on this line uh, to drag down a guideline and I'm going to put one at four inches down. And I'm going to click and drag another one down to seven and a half. Now I'm going to put in my uh, vertical guidelines, so click and drag out a line and put it on 4, and drag another line over here to 13. So these are where our photos are going to be placed. So you could have four small photos here, or you could have one large photo down at the bottom. You could have six photos. So it's up to you how you're going to fill these boxes with the uh, photos that you choose. In the next video, I will show you how to edit your photos to get them ready to place into this layout. That's it for this video.